So we come to an end of another week in Westminster, which marked the first anniversary of Theresa May becoming the leader of the Conservative Party and the Prime Minister of this country. So congratulations, Theresa. What a year it's been. It's the naughtiest thing you ever did. Gosh. Do you know? I'm not quite sure. The new figures showing a record number of almost 1.2 million emergency supplies being handed out at food banks in the past year. It's degrading. It's, um, especially when you've worked all your life. In real terms, wages are falling fast for the average worker. But disappearing into the financial distance is one group of employees who are raking in more millions than ever. So at least 12 Conservative Party MPs are facing the possibility of criminal charges tonight after they were referred to the Crown Prosecution Service by police over their election expenses. Yemen is quickly becoming the forgotten crisis. If people aren't being killed by bombs, it's hunger that kills them. The UK needs to use its influence to help the people of Yemen. Bombs exported from Britain are being dropped on Yemeni children by Saudi pilots trained by Britain. I was absolutely gobsmacked this week to discover that the government has awarded G4S another contract for tagging. Now let's remember they were subject to an inquiry by the Serious Fraud Office and they had to pay back to the government over £100 million because they were claiming money for tagging people that were still in prison. Some people who had even died. This is an absolute scandal and yet typical of the Tories lining the pockets of their friends. Four weeks on from the devastating tragedy in Grenfell Tower, we managed to secure a debate in the House of Commons on Wednesday, and I managed to speak in that debate. It's an unanswerable argument. Had Grenfell Tower been fitted with sprinklers, we may have lost the building, yes, but we wouldn't have lost human life. And this week, I'm kickstarting a campaign against rogue debt management companies, and I'm meeting some of the victims of one such company at the weekend. And on Thursday morning, I managed to ask a question in the House of Commons about the issue. Compass debt councillors operated in my constituency and went into liquidation uh, last year, owing 1,700 people £5.5 million after emptying the coffers year on year, taking out hundreds of thousands of pounds. Isn't it time this kind of spivery was outlawed once and for all? And the government published the draft repeal bill this week, which is supposed to transfer legislation from Europe into British legislation, but there are key elements that are missing. No reference to workers' rights, no reference to human rights. Key areas of discrimination are absent from the document. So it really isn't fit for purpose, and unless we can get some significant amendments to it, the Labour Party will be voting against. And finally, in another indication of how weak this pathetic Tory government actually is, my colleague Diana Johnson secured a debate around contaminated blood products, and rather than actually face the prospect of being defeated, the Prime Minister and the government have conceded to an inquiry into that dreadful scandal. As ever, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the page, share the video, and if you ever need any help, please feel free to get in touch.